Well, we're getting out here to take a look at this uh, derailment. I am uh, recording myself via cell phone camera. And we are ready to get started. I'm actually just delivering a few things. Today we're going to focus on wide gauge derailment. Wide gauge derailments. Very common in the industry. There's nothing to uh, be upset about if you have one on your site. But what you should do is definitely take note of your railroad ties and keep them changed every year. And you won't have issues that cause that robber. Now this is just a small portion of it, but I just wanted to go back right to the source, right where it all started. You'll see it, where it's digging through the dirt right there, and right here. The train car did not do that to the tie, that was existing. Those two ties, there and there, allowed it to push out. If you've seen in my other videos, I talk about push on the ties. I talk about movement. You'll see in the tie plates. And this is it. I mean, I'm sure the gauge was already 57 and a half, maybe 58. And then when it spread or had been spreading out to here, game over. Wheel fell in right there and went that way. Just make sure you do your annual inspections, monthly inspections that as necessary for your use, and you can avoid these kind of problems. Thank you for joining us at this Midwest Rail derailment cleanup. Let's get started. 